Mighty Anna 72. Mighty Anna 72 here, and today we have another top 10. This is Mighty Anna 72's top 10 favorite Sinnoh Pokemon. Wait, oh well, I forgot to add the S there. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Number 10. The Rotom Evolution. Oh, well, it's not actually an evolution, it's a different forms. See, that's really unique about the Rotoms, is that they can have all different forms and become basically any type. Basically. There's a few. Specifically, um, my favorite is the Rotom Frost. I really love Rotom Frost. It's, whoops. Rotom Frost is my favorite. It's cool because it's got like a purple outline. And then, um, I also like the Rotom Mo. But the thing about Rotom, which is so unique, is it's idea. It's an electric ghost which hops into um, mm, or bleh, different uh, machines and then becomes them and gets their type. And that's what really makes it fav one of my favorites. Number nine. Shellos. Sorry about the poor quality image. But um, yeah, the Shellos are really unique because as like Rotom has many different forms. One, oh, well this only has two, but the Easty and the Westy. So basically wherever it comes from, it looks different. It the um East Sea, I think is blue. Yeah, don't quote me on that. Um uh, it's got like really cool like uh not like feathers coming off its head, or not feathers, but the shape of feathers, which makes it look like a streamlined slitheriness. But then the West Sea has like these little blobby heads and it's like it looks like it swings them around and it's got gross horns which makes it have a really unique design number eight probopass and nose pass but specifically probopass see probopass is really unique as in he's one of the few pokemon that was that was that an evolution was given to hoenn pokemon as nose pass but the thing about nose pass is nose pass didn't really have that much love it was always criticized as a bad design for just being a nose and a compass, but I always really liked it. I mean, it was very easy in the gym. You just chose two out of the three starters would instantly basically kill it because they were four times, no, just normal, like just really powerful against it. But it's really unique design and idea of being a, a living compass has a really nice feel to it. And that's why I think they gave it a evolution. I mean, besides from the interesting mustache. Why? Why the mustache? Well, whatever. Besides from the interesting mustache, Probopass has got a very interesting design. Having some sort of bird head looking things that make it float around and you, when using flash cannon in X and Y, it makes an amazing circle which does an awesome. It looks awesome. And Probopass itself, I mean, having a bad type, normal and steel, four times a week to ground, and fighting. But, I think I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite. Number seven. Uxie, the Lake Guardian trio. Lake Yellowhead one. Yeah, I don't really know that much about it, but it is my favorite out of the trio, and I really love it was the first one I obtained and definitely the coolest looking and a mysterious it has a mysterious backstory of what happens if it opens its eyes some say that it will destroy the world some say that it would be a beauty I think it would be so dangerous that whoever looked upon it would freeze death instantly it's very cool and is pretty powerful you can use some pretty good psychic moves on it get some high, sp high power moves like Psychic and Psyshock, and it can actually become a pretty powerful Pokemon. Number six. Starly or Starly's Evolution. I like this picture. It's a cool one. But um, the thing about Starly is Starly is probably the most popular normal and flying starter from each region. Hear me out. Basically, every region has a normal and flying. There's Pidgey and Spearow from Gen 1. Then there's Noctowl from Gen 2. Oh, like, Gen 1 also had Doduru and Farfetch'd, but they don't really count. Then Gen 3 has Swellow. Gen 4 had Starly. Gen 5 had Unpheasant. No, and then Gen 6 had 
Fletchling, although that became not flat fire and flying. But Stanley is definitely the most popular. Basically, if you know someone who likes Sinnoh, the majority of them will say, Oh, Star Raptor, beast. Its intimidate ability gives it an early boost for lowering their damage, and with Brave Bird, it can be a massive damage booster. And you can even get some support things on it. Number 5. Bronzor. Yes. I am a Bronzor fan. Oh, something about steel and psychic types make me awesome. Jirachi, Metagross, Bronzor. I love it. I got it pretty early when I was playing my, uh, my Pokemon Pearl game, and it was a very powerful team member on my team. With its ability Levitate, it was completely immune to ground types, and I could get some pretty good, like, iron defenses and stuff on it, and I could just own their teams. Plus, I love its evolution. Bronzor! It's a bell! I love bell Pokemon. Chingling, you're awesome. Number four, Roserade or Boodoo. Yeah, another Gen 3 evolution chain given to a Gen 3 Pokemon. Rosalina is vibrantly one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know, I didn't have it on my top 10 Hoenn list because, oh, that list was hard to make. I love so many Hoenn Pokemon. Roselia is one of the few that I started off with the game and got a lot of times again because it was between the electric gym and the beginning so I got it quite a few times but the, when I found out that they gave it a pre-evolution and a second and a final evolution I'm like awesome because I could get a Budu earlier in the game than I could get a Rosalina evolve it into a Roselia and then I could get it to be a really powerful tank at the very end that's a dumb dumb deal number three Empoleon Evolution! Yep, probably one of the most popular out of the Gen uh, Gen 4 starters. Piplup is the penguin. How many other penguins can you think of Pokemon? None? Nothing? Deli Bird doesn't count? Well, Piplup is your penguin. Water type going into a water and steel with Empoleon. It is so cute and Prinplup is definitely one of the tops. Plus, Empoleon, you have an awesome crown. Number two. The Shinx Evolution. Specifically, my favorite is Luxio. I don't know why, but for some reason, I love this, the first evolutions, probably mo in most evolution charts. I'm really weird. Most people either love the first evolution for being cute, the final evolution for being strong, but I don't, don't know. Something about the middle evolutions of things just are really cool. That's why I love Grovile as well. Luxio has that snaz. He becomes, he goes from the Shinx, the little cute electric type, into the p cool as proud Luxio. Plus, when you get pretty good at him, he gets to become an ultra insane cat who definitely needs a mega evolution. Luxray, mega Luxray, we need you. Number one. Chimcha! Oh yeah, guess which starter I chose when I first played Sinnoh? Chimcha, Chimcha, Chimcha! Although my favorite, Monferno. Haha, <laughs> surprise. I loved Monferno. Flame wheeling through plenty of Budu in my time. Those were the days. And, basically the thing that I loved about Monferno is he's a monkey. I love monkeys. I love monkeys. Like Apom, but not as much as like Monferno. And in Fernape, Fire and Fighting, such a copy of Blaziken, but oh well, Infernape is a really awesome Pokemon. With its Fire and Fighting type, it can sweep through those rock types that were originally trying to get past your fire, and pretty much own steel types just as much as the fire would, and its design is amazing. Although, something I noticed, Chimchar's got fire on his butt, he's got fire on his hair, where's Monferno's fire? Hmm, oh well, but Monferno has a very cool mask looking thing. Oh well. 